So thanks for coming. I will talk about testing a web app with traffic control. Uh, when I mean traffic control, actually I mean only uh, network traffic control, like adding some latency or limiting the bandwidth. Um, and uh, I will do a, a short uh, presentation of myself. I worked with container before. I worked on Rocket, and now I'm doing work on uh, WeaveScope, on eBPF, and uh, before I did some work with traffic control um, for different use cases. Um, I work at uh, Kinfolk, where I'm one of the co-founders, and we like to work on uh, low-level Linux uh, software, uh, like this example, Rocket, Systemd, we like Linux. Um, um, okay, you can find that. I will start directly with a demo. So, um, the demo I will show you today is uh, this applica application. That's a, a website. That's a sock shop. You can buy uh, socks on it. And I will uh, just quickly uh, go through the feature to to show you. So there is a home page. There is a catalog. Uh, I will. Is it big enough? Yes. Um, and then you can add things uh, to the cart. And then there are your products there. Um, so this application, this website, has been implemented using um, a microservice architecture. Uh, what it means, it's uh, it has. Uh, it's running in a lot of different containers, and uh, each container has a different uh, purpose. There is the front end, uh, I think it's running in PHP, and there, in, there is a lot of different backends for uh, different databases and different services. Um, so uh, I will show you now um, with scope. Should I make it a bit smaller? Or big? Yes. Um, with scopes, that's. Um, Monitoring on visualization tool, you can see all the containers running on your cluster. In my case, I have only one node running in a virtual machine on my laptop, but the idea is the same for more nodes. Uh, and here, I can see, for example, I have a, a front end. And what's interesting is instead of seeing things in the list, you can see a graph. You can see what uh, kind of communication happens between the different containers. So. Uh, in this example, I have the front end, and I have a link to uh, the user container, talking to the user database container. So I see, if I click on them, I should be able to see the list of containers, the list of process in that, and then I can explore the container, and I can see the different uh, connections that happen there. So what I want to test with that, um, is uh, a scenario where the network doesn't behave uh, really correctly. As a developer, usually we have a good uh, internet connection, so there is a low latency, good bandwidth, and uh, especially when things are running in a virtual machine on your laptop, there is a good connection between uh, Firefox and uh, the virtual machine. So it's not easy to see um, bugs in, uh, in the UI that could happen with bad internet connection. Um, for example, uh, here I go to uh, the card to, to see uh, what I have. I just refresh the page, but it looks fine. It looks uh, the items seems to appear uh, uh, pretty fast. So to be able to test that, uh, we have developed um, a plugin on uh, WeaveScope to be able to uh, change the network setting to add some latency. And if I go, for example, to the uh, catalog container. Here it is. Um, here I have some controls which come with a scope. For example, I have something to get the logs, um, to get a shell inside the container. Um, I could uh, pause or stop the container, but what the traffic control plugin uh, added to that was to add a uh, and um, more buttons to make it uh, slower. And here I have a button to add a two-second latency. If I click on it, then uh, things should be slower. Uh, so let me go back to uh, with uh, socks, to, and I will uh, press F12. If you don't know of uh, Firefox, when you press F12, you have a um, network console. And then when you reload the page, you should be able to see the different uh, connection the different HTTP connection to the web page. And here, uh, most of them should be quite fast. 
but actually what you see here, the page seems fully loaded, but there was no uh, items in the cart. And here it seems to be only one. And um, yeah, um, something doesn't work really as expected. Uh, yeah, the image doesn't come very quickly. Uh, and that's something you can see here in, um, in Firefox. There should be some connections. Uh, most of connection HTTP requests are uh, quite fast. But like one of them, this one, take eight uh, seconds, more than eight seconds. That's because I added a lot of latency to the, um, to the catalog containers. And here we can see the request was actually to the catalog uh, URL. And that's uh, because the front end need to contact the catalog to be able to fulfill that request. Um, so I will do it again. I will refresh again and so you can see what happened here. So the, file, the page looks fully loaded, but it's actually uh, there is no spinning wheel on Firefox to say it's still loading. Uh, there is the wrong sum here. It's zero dollar, and it's a one items here instead of two, and there is nothing there, and it takes uh, a while to come. So um, a good user interface should have some user feedback to say uh, it's still loading, to not confuse the user uh, by saying. Uh, there is nothing in the cart because the user might be uh, tempted to say, okay, I, I lost everything, I will try to buy again. So that's something you can test uh, with traffic control by uh, using uh, with scope with the traffic control plugin. Um, here I will restore the settings. So um, now if I refresh again, it should work fine. Yeah, now it works fine again. And if I go to the catalog page, there is a similar bug. If I make it slow again, and I have some demo effect, but it's supposed to work. Uh, and I refresh the page, I click on refresh. And here it doesn't look really good UI in that case. So um, there is a lot of UI issues that would be benefit from uh, testing with traffic control to see what happened in that case. Okay, uh, that's it for the demo. I will go back to uh, the slides. Um, just say a few words about the scope architecture. So um, in my case, I tested only on uh, one node on in a virtual machine on my laptop. But that's something which, uh, if you have a website that scale on many nodes, you can uh, use something like Kubernetes to uh, scale up. Uh, that's what I have actually, I have Kubernetes on my laptop. And then you can have, um, scope deployed on all the nodes of the cluster. And you have typically one uh, agent on each node that will uh, inspect the different connections. It will get the list of process, the list of container, the list of TCP connections. And then uh, the agent will report that to the app. The app will get all the reports and merge them and be able to display them to Firefox. Um, so that's why here I see, oh, sorry. Here I can see all the nodes uh, on all the process, all the connections. Um, in this case, I had a traffic control plugin that's run on each node, and uh, the traffic control plugin will be able to receive orders from the command when we click on the buttons, and it will enforce the traffic control um, like two second latency. How does traffic control uh, works? It uses um, a queuing discipline, or as they call um, a network scheduler. It used the network emulator one, which is uh, available in Linux since Linux 2.2, so that's uh, really old and available, I think, everywhere. And it has uh, some parameter. You can uh, define a limit on the bandwidth. You can increase the latency. You can drop some packet. You can say, I want to drop 2% of the packet. And you can correct packet. You can do a lot of things. Here in this talk, I just focus on the latency. I just add some latency to see what happened. Um, is there any questions? So far, yes. Uh, this network emulator is a different piece of software, or is it something that's provided by the kernel? Since you mentioned Linux, uh, yes, that's a kernel module uh, in Linux, so, and usually all the distributions uh, package it. So mm -hmm. it's. Um, I think on Fedora you need to install. Uh, I don't remember the name of the RPM, but it's like kernel module extra or something like that, and then. Um, when it's installed, uh, it just works, the module gets charged, uh, loaded automatically. Okay. 
Um, so when we want to test, we don't want to um, change the traffic control li latency on everything. We want to do it on uh, only one container, the one we want to test, like in this example I tested on the catalog. Um, and it's possible to do that because the queuing discipline or network emulator is installed not uh, globally, but only on one network interface. On each container are their own network interface. So here I can apply the um, settings only on one container or two containers, or I can choose. Uh, I don't have to have this setting globally. Um, you have any other questions? Yes? Um, the question is, can I run this automatically, automatically in CI? Uh, in with this exactly, no, but internally it uses um, the command line tool TC for traffic control. And this thing can be used um, in CI or in script. And I can show you the code actually, uh, if I find it. So here is the GitHub repository on uh, WeWork plugins, and it's the traffic control plugin here. Uh, I guess you can see here. Um, and here it calls a function apply latency, but what, oops, sorry. what it does, um, yeah, it's in another file, but what it does, it just do a system exec to execute the TC command with the correct parameter uh, on the correct network interface, and that something can script. Yes? Uh, it's possible to do uh, in this, oh, sorry. The question is, what about incoming traffic uh, as opposed to outgoing traffic? Uh, in this traffic control plugin, I only care about outgoing traffic, but uh, it's possible to do incoming traffic. That's a bit more difficult because you can more easily regulate what you send rather than what other people send you. Um, but uh, there is a kernel module called IFB for, uh, I'm not sure what it means, inter... Um, IFB, I'm not sure what it means, uh, but we, what you can do, you can redirect the incoming traffic to that uh, IFB uh, network interface, and then you can apply the setting there, and then you can, uh, it will queue the incoming traffic. So uh, if you use TCP, it will automatically adapt to uh, um, the bandwidth or the latency, and then um, in practice, the application will see the correct latency. Another question? Um, <laughs> I've not tried it, but it, it should work as well because it's, it's uh, just container and network interface in the end, I guess. Uh, so um, with uh, Scope, it uh, rely uh, heavily, I think, on Docker. But if it is container not based on Docker, um, we cannot use at the moment Scope directly, but the internal uh, things, uh, the TC command line tool can be directly used. Uh, Thanks. That's all the time we have.